Keep your heads up and your arms covered, family. Here's the verse of the day at kingjamesbibleonline.org. And it's Luke chapter 12, verse 24. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? Genesis 1.14, And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days, and years. Luke 21.25, And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. And the reason I'm going over this again is because we love Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. And the reason why I preach this all the time is because it's true. The signs are in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And our job is to feed the sheep and lead people to Jesus Christ, Yeshua, to be saved. And we are called to watch. And we love him. And we want to do what he says. So we watch. And we're watching where he said the signs would be. They're his signs. And he's putting it together for us. We just have to pay attention and watch. And I have the Holy Spirit all over me, family. Share this with everyone. We are approaching two eclipses. A solar eclipse on October 25th. Right there in what they call Virgo. And a lunar eclipse on November 8th. A total blood moon eclipse under what they call Aries. Well, here's what's gigantinormous. As you can see right here, they're both at 11 o'clock UTC time. I've never seen this. In all my years of watching, this is extremely gigantinormous. And if you put both of those eclipse times together, it's 11-11. The very day that he's been showing us that the asteroid Babylon goes into the judgment scale. And remember, Jesus Christ said the signs will be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And there's the sun and there's the moon and there's stars right here. They're called wandering stars. There's one, Mercury. And when you zoom in, you can see the moon is on top of Venus, another wandering star. And there's the total blood moon eclipse with another wandering star, Uranus. Jesus Christ is speaking very loudly through his signs, family. Tell everyone, both of these eclipses are both at 11 o'clock UTC time. And again, you put those two numbers together and it looks like our father is pinpointing the anniversary of the great flood on Chesbon 17 on 11-11, November 11th, which is approaching quickly. And remember, the moon turns to blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. When he pours out his spirit upon all flesh, the same time he sends dreams and visions, which has been happening. This is all going on right now. This is the grand finale. Again, he said the signs are in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And in November, there's three conjunctions in three days with the sun and the moon and the stars. There's this one with the total blood moon eclipse with Uranus, the wandering star. And there's this one with the sun going into the scale at the same time as the wandering star Mercury go into conjunction. And there's this one on 11-11 when the moon goes into conjunction with what they call the red planet, Mars. On 11-11, the same day that the asteroid Babylon enters the scale. And we got a comment saying, watch 9-11. Well, we always watch 9-11, family. It's the anniversary of when the towers were destroyed. Just like we always watch the 9th of Av, because that's the anniversary of the same day both the temples were destroyed. Happy Feast of Trumpets, family. And I would go over the signs for September and the Feast of Trumpet signs, but they're nothing compared to October and November, family. They're nothing compared to both of these eclipses 
both being at 11 o'clock universal time. There's no comparison. I don't even have time to go over all the signs. I've seen endless signs, but I will hit you with a few strong ones real quick just to encourage you, family. And I'm being filled with this Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh, right now. All glory to you, Father, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. On the total blood moon eclipse on 11-8, November 8th, the asteroid Athalia is going into the scale right behind the Mercury-Sun conjunction. I'll show you right now. When you zoom in and you go through the days to 11-11, boom, Athalia enters the scale. At the same time, the asteroid Babylon enters the scale. And Athalia means the Lord is exalted. And I don't know what that means to you, but to me, it's gigantinormous. And on 11-11, when all this is happening, the asteroid Adoria is in the woman's stomach. And Adoria means wheat. Now back to 9-11 real quick. If you're going to watch anything on 9-11, watch Russia because the asteroid Russia is entering the judgment scale on 9-11. Then on what they call Halloween, this day they made evil, the asteroid Taiwan is entering the scale. And remember the asteroid Nephele, Strong's 3507, the definition is a cloud. It's right with Venus in the middle of the scale on this total blood moon eclipse on 11-8. And when you go through the days, you can see on 11-11, Venus is exiting the scale. And Nephele is directly in the center of the scale with the sun, with Mercury, and so much more. And I showed you this before. There is actually an asteroid that's number 811, Nahima. And when you go to that asteroid on 1111, you can see it's preparing to exit the scale. On 1111, it leaves the scale. It's right there with Venus leaving the scale. Asteroid 811. And on 118, the asteroid Vera is right there too. And Vera means faith. And all glory to our Father. Always, in Jesus Christ's name, we showed you, fiducia means trust. And on the total blood moon eclipse, fiducia is right in the mix, in the scale too, family. You cannot make this up. Jesus Christ, our Father, He designs these signs. And when you go to 1111, fiducia, trust, moves into close to the center of the scale with everything else going on. And I'm being led to make this video short so everyone sees it. Thank you, Father. And I'll wrap it up with Strong's 1454. In Greek, edgersis, the definition is a rousing, a rising from death usage, a waking up, resurrection, the very thing that we're waiting for, the resurrection and the rapture. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. The resurrection family. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Yeshua HaMashiach, a.k.a. Jesus Christ. A.K.A. Jesus. And here's why that is so gigantinormous. Because when you go to the total blood moon eclipse on November 8th, 2022, that peaks the greatest eclipse time at 11 o'clock. It's 14 hours, 54 minutes and 11 seconds. 1454. A waking up. Resurrection. So we hope this is it and we go home now with you family, with Yeshua. And let me remind you, January 12th this year, Adam Berkowitz put out this article. Next year will be the final Jubilee, year of Messiah's arrival. And when you scroll down, you can see right here highlighted this year in Israel, it's 5,782. That's the year they're in. Divided by 49 equals precisely 118. So next year, 
as soon as the day of atonement hits, Yom Kippur, it'll be the 118th Jubilee since the creation of the world, family. 118. 11, 8. It's marking the total blood moon eclipse. And right above that, you could see this year, for example, is 5,782, which is the 826 Mita. So I'll wrap it up with 826 in Strong's Bible Concordance. And in Greek, the definition is to shine forth. And the usage is I flash, gleam, shine forth, appear white, bright. But perhaps I see, see clearly, discern. And I'll wrap it up with the word, the bread of life, Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 12, verse 55. And when you see the south wind blow, you say, there will be heat and it cometh to pass. Ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it that ye do not discern this time? And I got the Holy Spirit all over me. All glory to you, Father, in your Son's name, Jesus Christ, Yeshua. So shine bright, family, and don't let anyone nick away at your faith. If you see someone causing division, exit that conversation because he's looking for faith when he comes.